Today we're talking about Elden Ring again, I know, but hey, in my last two videos I talked about how there would probably be a mod that would allow you to go above 60 frames per second in the game, which I mean, 60 is awesome, but to be limited to that, well, the, honestly, that that's kind of lame. The mod is here, it's completely free, and it definitely allows you to go above 60 frames per second in Elden Ring, and it even allows you to actually customize the field of view or the FOV, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that starting right now. Just remember if you find value in a video, smash that like button because it really helps me out and if you're new here, get subscribed. Let's go. Okay, so the application we're using is an application called Flawless Widescreen. Now this application is completely free and to the best of my knowledge, it is completely safe. If you're interested in using it, I will have a link to it in the pinned comment down below this video, so be sure to check it out there. But essentially this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it has support for multiple games. So you can see Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Dying Light to, but today we're focused on Elden Ring. Now once you choose Elden Ring, you'll be presented with this screen right here. So the first thing you need to do is basically enable everything that you want to change. So for us, we want to go above 60 frames per second. So that means we want to check the option for remove 60 hertz FS limit. We also want to do the frame time adjustment. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to adjust the frame rate to whatever we want it to be. So in my case, my OLED TV will max out around 120 frames per second. So I'm going to set it to 120 frames per second. From there, you have to acknowledge this statement where you read it and you know, you're doing all of this at your own risk, yada, yada, yada. And then from there, you have to go up here and actually enable the fix. If you do not enable it, then nothing will change. Now from here, we can switch over to Elden Ring and see if our frame rate has gone above 60 frames per second. Okay, now as you can see, we officially have a frame rate that is higher than 60 FPS. We're rocking 69, 70, 71 FPS. Now that's mostly because I'm using an RTX 3070 and I'm trying to run native 4K as much as possible. As you can see, we're actually rocking 1800p right now. I'm actually kind of curious. So if I switch down to native 4K, yeah, you can see we're still below 60 FPS. So it doesn't really do us much good. But what happens if we go down to 1440p? Now, as you can see, I switched it over to 1440p. And for whatever reason, the frame rate is better than 4K, but it's not really any better than 1800p. I don't know why 1800p and 1440p basically share the same frame rate. That's a little bit weird to me, but anyway, we all know Elden Ring has some optimization issues. So can we try 1080p? Will that do anything? Okay, so at 1080p, we're jumping up to the 80s. We're at 83 frames per second. We were just at 84 a minute ago, dipping down to 79, back up to 85, 94. We're all over the place, but yeah. So as you can see, lowering the resolution does in fact help out the frame rate. So if you're rocking a 1080p panel and you're playing at 1080p, and you want higher than 60 frames per second, you're probably gonna see more of a benefit here than, than pretty much anybody else. But what else can the application do? Okay, so switching back over to our application called Flawless Widescreen, we also have the ability to change the field of view or the FOV. All you have to do is check the box that says FOV adjustment. And from there, you can take the slider and basically put it wherever you want. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna max it all the way out. And now I'm gonna switch back over to Elden Ring and we're gonna see the difference. Now, if you notice, the FOV is significantly wider. And if you need to see a side-by-side -side comparison, I'll put that on screen right now so you can kind of see the before and after. But I'm also gonna show you this in real time. So check this out. I'm going to adjust the FOV in real time. And as you can see, we're going back to the default settings. And then now I'm gonna max it out. So we have default and then we're maxing it out. Default and maxing it out. So we're going in and out. So as you can see, this application is, is quite powerful. Well, as you can see, Flawless Widescreen is a pretty cool application. It's free, it's quite powerful, and it's a good way to remove the limits that you could argue a PC gamer probably shouldn't have. And this is just one of very many reasons why it is awesome to be a PC gamer. By the way, I recently secured an RTX 3080 and I'm super excited to start benchmarking it and to show you what type of performance this thing can bring. I also plan on computing completely redoing my entire gaming PC now, and I'm going to water cool the 3080, and there, there's gonna be a few videos on that, so get subscribed if you wanna see that type of stuff. And let me know in the comments down below, do you wanna see me use the RTX 3080 on Elden Ring and check out the performance and see how it compares to the 3070? I'll happily show it to you, just, just let me know. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. And until next time, E-Rock out.